This is Star Wars, Dark Force Rising, Part 4 of 6. At Peregrine's Nest, Han tries to convince Senator Iblis to join the New Republic with the Katana fleet, but Iblis still has reservations about Mon Mothma. Han tells the Senator that they need good fighters like him, but Iblis replies he barely has a strike force. Han counters that their dreadnoughts and combat record are in good standing. Iblis tells Han he will think about it and lets them return to Coruscant. Han and Lando discuss the Katana fleet and that they need to get to it before the Empire. At the Star Destroyer, Thrawn gets information that the Millennium Falcon has been seen at Ender and sets out for the Uok planet. They briefly discuss the Nogri and decide to leave them be for now. At Abrogado Spaceport, Mara rents a ship and leaves the planet and runs into a Star Destroyer. Mara asks to talk to the captain, who asks for more information. She tells him she is the Emperor's hand and wants to talk to Thrawn. She finally makes it to Thrawn's Star Destroyer, Chimera. Thrawn quizzes her to confirm she was indeed the Emperor's hand. Mara asks Thrawn to cease harassing Card's crew and requests Imperial credit in exchange for the Katana fleet. Back at Onagr, the Nogri planet, Leia steps out and meets the Matrak. She believes she can prove that the Empire and Thrawn have deceived the Nogri. She also wants to rescue Kabarok. Winter tells Han and Lando that Luke wants to meet them on new COV. But it turns out it wasn't a message from Luke, but from Niles Farrier. Farrier tells them he wants to cut a deal for the Katana fleet, but Han doesn't believe him. They try to negotiate and leave, and realize someone put a homing device on their ship. Mara meets Card, but they are ambushed by Imperial forces. Mara realizes Thrawn's forces have followed her and she is upset, but gets restrained by Rook. Aboard the Imperial ship, she uses her backdoor knowledge to find out the location of Dark Jedi Seabolf. As she leaves the ship, she is ambushed again by Card's team who believe she betrayed them. At Jalmerk, Jorah Seabolf puts case after case before Luke Skywalker. Luke isn't sure if the Jedi should be that deeply involved in personal matters, but Seabolf says they should be more in charge. Mara lands on Jamark. She tells R2-D2 to let Luke know that Seabolf is working for the Empire. Seabolf comes to meet her, and knows from reading her mind what she is up to. Luke comes out and decides to leave with Mara. Seabolf implores him not to leave, and Luke asks whether Seabolf would use coercion and deceit to heal the galaxy. He starts to use force lightning to stop the two, but Luke deflects it with his lightsaber and R2-D2 stuns Seabolf from the ship. Mara is surprised Seabolf is still alive, but Luke says R2-D2 just stunned him. Mara wants to end Seabolf's life, but Luke believes he can come back from the dark side. Mara tells Luke that Card has been captured by the Empire and she needs his help. The two of them set off together. And that's how Dark Force Rising Part 4 of 6 ends.